Blade Runner 2049 is out, and in it are all sorts of really, really cool props and costumes. One of which is this pistol that Officer K carries around, issued to him by LAPD of the future. Well, do you want to print it yourself? I'll show you how to do that. I'm Joel. This is 3D Printing Nerd. Welcome back. This model of Officer K's pistol is by uh, Yuri. You know him as 3D Workbench on the Twitters. The brownish, pancake batterish looking filament is the 3D Fuel uh, Buzzed, Buzzed Filament. It's cool, it's made with um, the, the leftovers of making beer, I guess. The blue is my High Five Blue by Protopasta. It's wonderful stuff. All right, the 3D Fuel parts were printed on the Raised 3D N2 Plus, and I used a RAF. The High Five Blue parts were printed on the Prusa i3 Mark II 3D printer. The 3D Fuel parts, I used a RAF, like I said, and so the, the edges were fine, but the High Five Blue parts on the Prusa, because the first layer was squished down a little bit, everything had a little bit of an elephant's foot, so I had to use my scraper tool, and I had to easily take it off on the sides. I'll put a link to this tool down in the description. This should be an easy build, everything sort of test fits together okay. Uh, let's see, we'll do it really quick. I did it the other day and it turned out, uh, it turned out fine. Okay, that goes in there, that goes here. Oh, wait, this is gonna go this way. There we go, see, we're getting somewhere with it. These are gonna go here on the other side. This will attach right here and that'll attach the bottom and then we'll put a trigger and then it'll be all good. I do have my glues ready and I think I'm ready to start putting stuff together. First, I'm going to attach these parts right here to the underside right here. There's this little groove that goes here that this, uh, this little protrusion sticks out of and everything can be glued up just fine right there. So I've got my CA glue and I do have my InstaSet accelerator. Right. Here we go. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. All right, that is in. That is good. Just checking again. That looks pretty good. We'll just continue building. So this piece goes here, and then this piece goes in the top. I'll glue this one in real quick. This should be a pretty easy one. And that is not going anywhere. This one clips in right at the top. See if we can get that to go in easily. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up like this. Don't tell Bill. <laughs> Bill Durant of Punch Props. I'm always trying to show him that, hey, I could, I could build this stuff too, but he is the master to my non-masteredness. That is glued into place. I gotta tell you, uh, 3D Workbench makes amazing, amazing models. Wow. These things are gonna go together so easily. I can put some glue down. I will put some accelerator on this. Just make sure it's lined up all good. I'll put that piece in and that should give it something to, to rest against right there. And now I'll glue this piece in. I don't know how people built models before there was accelerator, but I gotta tell you, that's awesome. Let me just glue that into place. And then this is gonna go in here. And then this goes in. Just uh, making sure before I put everything together. All right, these uh, these little pieces right here, they're gonna sit in this channel, so it'd be a good idea for me to make sure those fit before I start gluing these pieces in. All right, it looks like those will fit in just fine. Oh, I'm a little bit crooked. Shoot, that's what you get when you're working too fast. Oh no! <laughs> just slid right off. I'll grab some glue in there. That is in. This is the next piece. I'm not putting accelerator on these parts because I'm giving myself a little bit of working time just to make sure I don't glue myself together like before. Okay, those, those are gonna fit just fine right there. What I can do is put some glue in. And I can hit the back side of this with a little bit of the accelerator. And since I know that goes in right there, it'll hold it in. I can do the same with this piece. <laughs> That's coming together. 
This piece right here goes back here. Let's put some glue down for that. So, and I will put a little bit of accelerator there. Protopasta High Five Blue really has a shimmer to it when it gets a little wet. It's looking pretty good. Let's do a test fit of this part. Oh, yes. I still have to glue this part, but it's essentially gonna go like that. Oh my goodness, it's coming together. <laughs> this is actually really exciting. I'm gonna have to put some accelerator down. Hold it in place. One banana, two banana, three banana, four. That's the trigger right there, right there. That's the trigger. I will glue that in. Okay, a little bit of Insta set. Got it. Something wiggled. Here's an interesting piece. So, this tiny, tiny little blue piece right here, this slides in here to line it up with the other piece. It's ingenious. All right, I am going to put some glue on these parts here. I'm stick them in there. And then I believe what I can do is hit the top, and those should be nice and stuck together. I guess I could glue this in now. Oh, my finger's sticking. <laughs> It's not a successful build unless you've glued your finger together at least once. Uh, I do have these little aiming things that I need to go up top here. What I will do is, is hit that. I'll put a little bit of glue on these. And then, oh please, please don't glue myself to the gun. We're almost done. We are almost done. Holy cats. Okay. So I need to make sure this goes in there first, and that goes there. So now I do that. There it is. This is Officer K's pistol from Blade Runner 2049, modeled by 3D Workbench. You know what? I love these colors. I know that it's supposed to be gun metal colored, but the High Five Blue and the pancake batter looking 3D fuel stuff, Oh, it's, it's so good. I love this. It is a little bit furry, and there were parts that I did forget to put support on, uh, but otherwise, super easy print, lots of pieces, but super detailed, easy to put together. This is a great kit. I got this off 3D Workbench's Patreon, and uh, I'll put a link down to his Patreon account below. He does fantastic work, and I highly suggest if you like to support artists who do really cool 3D models, he should be on your list. All right, well, this is the 3D Workbench model of Officer K's pistol from Blade Runner 2049. It was made with 3D Fuel's buzzed PLA. It was made with my Hi5 Blue PLA from Protopasta. It was printed on the Raze 3D N2 Plus 3D printer, and it was printed on the Prusa i3 Mark II 3D printer. I'll put a link down in the description to the glues, the Instaset, the 3D Fuel, the Protopasta, the printers, the gear I used, all of it. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell for when cool new stuff is uploaded to the channel. A big thanks to everybody that supports me via Patreon, YouTube Red, and if you let the ads play. And finally, don't forget to hug each other more because I love you guys. As always, movies are cool and high five.